Lesson 7, Absolute Value Inequalities. Techniques number 3. Now we have to prove that the absolute value of x plus 1 is greater than x for all real x. Now, the first method is the what I call the conditional method. So we'll set that up. So I'll write, write it down first. At absolute value. We'll take that. Now we can remove those absolute value signs and write x plus 1 is greater than x. On the condition, this is the condition, that x plus 1 is greater than 0. That is, x is going to be greater than negative 1. Now you can see here, if we subtract x from both sides, we get 1 is greater than 0. Well, that is always true. So the condition holds that x must be greater than negative 1. Now we take the next case, when this is negative, so minus x minus 1 is greater than x. This time the condition is that x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. That is, x is less than or equal to negative 1. Just taking this across to the other side, we get minus 2x is greater than 1. And dividing both sides by negative and changing the sign around, we get x is less than negative a half. Now if we draw our number line, we say that x is less than negative half is what we want. And the condition imposes that x must be less than negative 1. So that's true. Therefore, x must be less than or equal to negative 1. But prior to that, we had that x is greater than minus 1. And if x is less than negative 1, then this is true for all, true for all values of x. True for all x. Right, now the second method is the graphical method and this is my preferred method and you'll see how how good this is. Now I'll just draw a little eye here. I said very, very rough. Now I'm going to let y1 equal the absolute value of x plus 1. Now drawing that, we're going to get this little situation here happening. Like that. And y2 is equal to x. And this is y1 up here. And y2 is going this way. y2. And we're saying here, this is your y1 and y2, is that y1 is going to be greater than y2. Now, if you look at the graph, we can see that y1 is greater than y2 for all values of x. This is true, therefore, true for all x. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the, the square root technique. I would not advise to use this method for this particular type. As, you, as we go through it, you'll see why. So we're going to replace this by the square root of x plus 1 all squared is greater than x. And we'll go ahead and we'll square both sides and we'll get x plus 1 all squared is greater than x squared. That's squaring both sides. I'll just write that in there, squaring both sides. And this is why you need to be very careful with this technique. Now then we'll uh, remove the brackets. We get x squared plus 2x plus 1 is greater than x squared. x squareds go out. 2x plus 1 is greater than 0. 2x is greater than negative 1. And x is going to be greater than minus a half. And you say, well, that's the solution. Well, no, uh, it, it's we, we, we can still prove it. But we've got to realize one thing, that this is always going to be positive. So if this is negative, it'll always be valid. So we also say now, um, if x is less than naught, this thing is true. Is true. So what we have, we've got the situation where that we we know it's true for x less than naught that way, and we know it's true for x greater than a half that way. Therefore, we're true. 
minus a half two. True for all x, true for all x. But again, I, the graphical method is, is the preferred method.